Welcome back. All right, so the career of David Krejci. Krejci, of course, retiring on August the 14th uh, while I was out of town. So, uh, David Krejci, a lifelong Boston Bruin, makes it easy for me to put the board together, right? He was drafted by the Bruins 19 years ago, number 63 back in 2004, long time ago. So he doesn't make his debut with the Bruins until 06, 07. He only plays six games. And in his first game, he actually suffered a concussion and was only his second shift. So he spends two minutes and seven seconds getting acclimated to the NHL, and then he gets a concussion. So that means he's got a shortened season, no points there. But 07, 08, he plays 56 games for the Bruins. Six goals, 21 assists, 27 points. And in the playoffs, he adds a goal, four assists, five points in seven games. One thing about David Krejci was he raised his game come playoff time. Uh, he was a very good player in the regular season, but he was just that little bit better during the postseason as well. Uh, 08-09, he plays every game that year, 82 games, 22 goals, 51 assists, 73 points. Kind of an out-of-nowhere total, and then in the playoffs, two goals, six assists, eight points in 11 games. So after an okay rookie season, he has a great sophomore season. How does he follow it up? Well, his points drop off a bit. 9 10 79 games, 17 goals, 35 assists, 52 points. In the playoffs, his numbers get better again. 9 games, 4 goals, 4 assists, 8 points. However, he doesn't play that whole playoffs. He ends up with a dislocated wrist in the playoffs that would require surgery in a game against the Flyers. And so he misses what would end up being a series that... Um, for Boston, it didn't end well. They had a 3-0 series lead, and then the reverse sweep happens, and so Philadelphia eliminates the Bruins. The Bruins would remember that, though, and so does Krejci. 2010-2011, healthy, 75 games played. 13 goals, which is a low total for him. 49 assists, which was 10th overall in the NHL. 62 points. In the playoffs, 25 games, 12 goals, 11 assists, 23 points, and a Stanley Cup. And so for Krejci, that was a huge playoffs. He was a really big part of the Bruins winning that cup. Gets almost the same amount of goals in 25 playoff games as he had in 75 regular season games. Because again, he ups his game in the playoffs. So Krejci helps Boston win their first Stanley Cup in a very long time. And then we go into the 2011-2012 season. His numbers actually get a little better, goal scoring wise. Uh, 79 games, 23 goals, 39 assists, 62 points. So the points total stays the same. The goals come up 10, the assists drop 10. In the playoffs, one goal, two assists, three points in seven games. Uh, they were unable to repeat. They met Washington in the first round. Traditionally, Washington versus Boston, uh, you got about a 50-50 chance there of a win either way. 2012-2013, lockout shortened season. He plays 47 games, 10 goals, 23 assists, 33 points. And then in the playoffs, guess who raised his game again? David Krejci, 22 games, 9 goals, 17 assists, 26 points. So again, he has 26 points in 22 games, leads the playoffs in scoring, had 33 points in 47 regular season games going into those playoffs. So Krejci, absolutely fantastic. When they need him, of course, they lost in the Stanley Cup Final against Chicago that year. 2013-2014, he plays 80 games, 19 goals, so close to 20. His 50 assists was ninth overall in the NHL, 69 points. In the playoffs, his scoring drops off a bit here, 4 assists in 12 games. And then Boston suffers some setbacks, as does Krejci. He only plays 47 games in the 2014-2015 season, 7 goals, 24 assists, 31 points. As Boston's going through some stuff, and they're outside of the playoff picture. 2015-2016, 72 games, 17 goals, 46 assists, 63 regular season points. No playoffs that season. 2016-2017, he plays all 82 games for only the second and for the final time in his career. 23 goals, 31 assists, 54 points. He's pretty remarkably consistent during the regular season. And then in the playoffs, no points in three games in 2017 for David Krejci. So 2017-2018, 64 games played, 17 goals, 27 assists, 44 points. 12 games in the playoffs, 3 goals, 7 assists, 10 points. And by this point in time, he is known as one of the best two or second-line centers in the game. You have Bergeron, Krejci down the middle. You're pretty solid. 18-19. So 2018-2019, a pretty special season for Boston. 81 games for Krejci. He records 20 goals for what will be the final time in his career. 53 assists, 73 points. And in the playoffs, 24 games, 4 goals, 12 assists, 16 points. So again... Solid run for him. 2019, they go all the way to the Stanley Cup Final. They lost against the St. Louis Blues. 
And then in 2019-2020, he played 61 games, 13 goals, 30 assists, 43 points. Uh, Boston rolling at the time that the league goes to a pause. Uh, things are a little bit different when it comes out of a pause and we had the bubble playoffs. 13 games for Krejci, 4 goals, 8 assists, 12 points. So while Boston's out relatively early in the playoffs, Krejci still records almost a point per game because playoffs. 2020-2021, uh, he plays 51 games that year, 8 goals, 36 assists, 44 points. Remember, it was a 56-game season that year. And in the playoffs, 11 games, 2 goals, 7 assists for 9 points. So again, almost point per game in the playoffs. So he decides to walk away from the team, and there was some debate about whether or not he would come back. So he signs with Olomouc as he goes home to Czechia slash Czech Republic. Played 51 games that season, 20 goals, 26 assists, 46 points. During that year, there was some debate about whether or not Boston would try to sign him. If Boston had tried signing him after the Olomouc season was done, he would have had to clear waivers. In order to join the Bruins, there's very little chance that a team wouldn't have picked him up on waivers. And so Boston went without him in 2022, and I thought it was noticeable that they didn't have Krejci. And then 2022, 2023, he comes back, and he shows he hadn't missed a beat. If anything, uh, I think that the time in Europe helped him. So he played 70 games last season for Boston, including his 1,000th game. 16 goals, 40 assists for 56 points. So solid production, and then in the playoffs, plays four games of the seven-game series against the Florida Panthers. One goal, three assists, four points in the four games he played. Uh, so Boston, obviously when you're dealing with players who are older, the odds of injury seems to go up. Uh, but yeah, that's how Krejci's career ends. Sadly, it ends with the uh, upset win by Florida. In the, and he ends up with 1,032 games in total in his career. 231 goals, 555 assists for 786 points. In the playoffs, 160 games played, 43 goals, 85 assists, 128 points there. So really solid totals all the way across the board, again, for a player who most of his career is your second-line center. Uh, when Bergeron got hurt, could he play first line? Yes. Uh, would he have been a first-line player on other teams? Maybe, but the reality is he had a very good career for the Bruins. He scored the OT winner in Game 2 against the Flyers at 14 minutes in 2011. Uh, and Boston won that series in four straight, remembering the season before where they had the reverse sweep that they suffered at the hands of the Flyers. Uh, and they also, he also scored the OT winner in Game 4 against the Maple Leafs at 13.06 in 2013. Boston won that series in seven. So Boston beating Toronto in seven, kind of way, the way the universe seems to want it. Uh, he led the playoffs in, in, in points twice, 2011 and 2013. And in that 2011 Cup run, he had four game-winning goals. So yes, Tim Thomas was great during that run for Boston. However, Krejci was excellent as well and would have been in the conversation for the Smythe, I would think, top three. Uh, he had bronze numerous times playing for the Czech Republic. In 2004 at the under-18s, 2005 at the World Juniors, and 2012 and 2022 at the World Championships. He was also a plus 166 for his career. He did play in Boston, pretty standard. They were a good team throughout his run, but part of the reason they were a good team throughout his run is because he was their second line center. So all the best to David Krejci in retirement, and there you go, career video all set. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through, you just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.